Окей. Давай, давай, давай. Давай, давай, поговорим по русского языка. Ленинград, Ленинград, Эрмитаж, Летний сад, Орметкой, не, не. Окей, back to English, right? <laughs> Enough of the Russian. This is kind of fascinating. I lived in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. I was actually living in a dumpy little grotty place uh, called the Gastinet Metalurg, Nilyatkovos, um, yeah, the Pribaltiskaya Hotel. Prostitutki vizdye bliat. Only people that speak Russian. Anybody that knows Russian that heard what I just said, they'll go, <laughs> Oh God, he just said that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, the Hermitage is a huge museum, a lot of which is um, has some, you know, brilliant artwork in it, Da Vinci's, Picasso's. Most of it is stuff that the Russians um, acquired as they were prouncing through Eastern Europe and uh, and uh, Deutschland to uh, crush out the, the Nazis. Anyway, in the Hermitage Museum, it's great. Over here we got all this amazing security. Uh, you know, in case someone tries to steal something, you know, you just everything's behind. You know, you, you, you can't really touch it. There's security everywhere. They don't have to worry about that in Russia, at least not when I was living there, because you wouldn't even think of trying stealing something, because before you ever got out of the Hermitage Museum, they would just snuff your ass. You know, no lawyers, no nothing. It's like, we're going to kill you. You know, if we have to shoot through that million-dollar Leonardo da Vinci painting, we'll do it. Um, anyway... This is fascinating and totally true. So this is how Russians treat their artwork. I can't remember the name of the painting, but it was about yay big. It was not that big, and it was in a gold frame. Who, who knows who the Russians acquired it from? By acquired, I mean swiped. Uh, <laughs> that painting, I know, supposedly is estimated to be worth in the millions of dollars, even though it's a little tiny. It's beautiful. By Da Vinci. And the only security in that room is a fat uh, woman sitting in a chair. <laughs> She's kind of doing this number. It doesn't matter. You know, if you'd stolen it, she never would have caught you, but they would have machine gunned you down as you were trying to leave because she would have hit a button and they would have just probably killed your ass. Um, you look really close and you can get really close because it's just like hanging on a wire. It's like something that you, you like a cheap Velvet Elvis, a cheap Velvet Elvis painting. This is solely true. And I could get really close. I could get my face that close to the, to the painting. And the woman, uh, the, the fat old woman sitting over there in the corner, she yelled at me in Russian to, you know, lean back, get away from it, which is fine. But as I got really close, I could see that this multi-million dollar Leonardo da Vinci painting that is hanging in Russia is covered right at the top and on the inside lip of the bottom of the frame. This is totally true. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Is covered in so much dust that if you were to like run your finger across it, which of course there's no way I would do that because I'd probably be in jail, that you would, it would be like someone shoveling snow. It's like if you had like six inches of snow, and you, you know, you shovel snow and it starts to pile up in front of the shovel. That is how much dust and grime. It's like the Russians acquired that multi-million dollar painting and they hung it there and like nobody touched it for like 25 years. It's just been hanging there. You know, it's not like... You know, got, uh, all sorts of creepy things have been accumulating on it. You know, it's like, well, maybe this painting is worth a few million dollars. Maybe we should, I don't know, dust it once a year or something. This thing looks like it ain't been dusted in 20 years. And there isn't even a rope. There's like a, there's a line. At least at the time, there's a line on the floor. It's like, you don't cross that line. However, you can kind of lean in. And I, and I had my head, my face as close to that multi-million dollar Da Vinci. And I was like, damn. And then I told the two people that were with me. I was like, do you see that? I was like, yeah, I can't believe it. So <clears throat> there's the respect for fine art at the uh, Hermitage Museum in Leningrad. And now it is called St. Petersburg, Russia. Крепкие человек, настоящие русские народы. Only someone that speaks Russian would know what the hell I was saying just now. Um, <laughs> so that's it. Multi-million dollar Da Vinci painting covered in so much dust that if you were to like run your finger across it, and on the inside lip too, and you could see little dust balls actually hanging off the painting. He's like, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure that that would not happen if that painting were hanging somewhere in Europe or the... No dissing to the Russians now. Крепкие настоящие люди, а? Русские народы крепкие. Крепкие народы. Абсолютно крепкие. О, настоящие крепкие народы. No dissing against the Russians here, but I'm pretty sure that that was a molestation of a multi-million dollar piece of artwork. I, I, let me repeat that horrible word again. Molestation of a multi-million dollar piece of Leonardo da Vinci artwork. Yeah. Totally true story. I thought you might enjoy that one. I love always relating that to people. Because sometimes it gives you a window into other cultures. Yes, it's like how communism... Communism views artwork. Artwork in the view of communism is bourgeois... Bourgeois waste of time for pussies. <laughs> Which is really pretty accurate by premise of that philosophy. Yeah. I hope you liked that one. That was totally true. That was a window into my life living in Leningrad. Grozny Gorodok Bliat. Forget I said that last part. If you spoke Russian, if you spoke English, then forget about it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> that is totally a true story, by the way. Bye.